First time I uh, did this, I was using like dollar store not metal. They had like a rubber tip on these and it melted right off. So don't make that mistake. Mike's vlog. Mike's vlog. Mike's vlog. All right, it's lunch time for me. Probably dinner for most people, but it's chicken parm sandwich time. So that's what we're gonna make right now. I'm trying to make probably the best tasting chicken parm sandwich on earth. First, just get your chicken. It's already too thick. So just cut it in half. Uh, we're gonna make them all, even though uh, I'm not gonna eat this many sandwiches. But you, you gotta cook. You gotta cook it all. And uh, spoiler: fried chicken doesn't sit around. All right. Now we want to uh, flatten them out just a little bit, just to get it even, uh, so the chicken cooks evenly in there. Even though it's getting hot in the fucking deep fryer, so it's gonna be good. But now it's like. Like you owe me fucking money. But really just don't bash it because you'll just break the chicken right in half. Normally I soak these either overnight or at least for a couple hours in buttermilk and spices, but we don't have that kind of time. So instead we're just gonna kick up the dredge we're making for it and hope it uh, tastes as good. It's gonna be good because we're hungry and we need to eat now. So let's go. All right, here's the spot where we're gonna try and kick it up in the flour. It might take the best to the flour. We're gonna throw a bunch of spices in there. Hopefully, it'll add flavor to the outside of the bread. We just used the whisk, so now you use your fingers to whisk that together. All right, I think the oil's about hot enough. You don't wanna undercook chicken, obviously, but you can burn the fuck out of uh, everything real quickly as well. So I turned it down a little bit. I think we're at the right temperature. I don't know how to read the gauge thing uh, at all, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, you think you just read the numbers, but it seems more complicated than that, like where you're touching it, it's hotter, it's soft, I don't know, who, who cares? That part doesn't matter. What does matter is getting it started. So let's go. Start in our flour. Coat it heavily. Make sure everything is coated. You see any wet spots, you know what to do. You know what they say. All right, onto our egg. Very nice. And breadcrumbs. All right. Drop it away from you. That way you don't burn the fuck out of yourself. Too much oil in there. That is boiling over. That's too much for sure. Don't make that mistake. All right, we keep repeating the process over and over again. Dries, wets, dries. This is a perfect piece. Okay, now that we're confident that everything's cooking well, these are looking good, we're just gonna turn on the oven. And we're gonna get our bread ready. So you watch any other of my cooking stuff, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna glaze the shit out of this with garlic and butter. Okay, we've got a nice big piece of Italian bread. What we're just gonna do is just cut it down the middle. Okay, we want to load this up with the butter and the garlic. Now we're just going to pop this in the oven and crisp it up and just get it baked a little bit. Okay, our bread is slightly toasted, but that's good. Now we're going to piece it together and then rebake everything on top. It'll give it the perfect crisp and crunch. The bread feels kind of good right now, but we'll make it better. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Noss on the drums. Give it up. I heated up the sauce from yesterday. You saw that I already made some sauce. The sauce is perfect. You want my sauce recipe? Ask me for it, but you've seen it in two videos now. You know how I make my sauce. Ho oh, ho! That's a little fucking hot. That's a little hotter than we want on the hands. We don't want this to be dry at all, so you want to make it extra saucy. I don't like dries, I like wets. 
Okay, we're gonna use some Parmesan, but the key to chicken parmesan is mozzarella, sometimes provolone if you want, that's good. But you don't need Parmesan. It's not called chicken Parmesan because there's fucking Parmesan in it. It's called chicken Parmesan because it's from the Parma part of Italy. So Parmesan's an extra piece. We have some, so we're using it. If you don't have some, don't use, use mozzarella or provolone, which is better, but we've got mozzarella. Now, we're gonna watch this when we bake it. We don't wanna just top it over because we want it to bake the top, but we don't want this piece of extra bread to burn, so we're gonna keep our eye on it and uh, figure it out along the way. Don't worry, we got it. Okay, Brian, we're done with the sandwich. Got a close-up shot. Looks good, huh? These are only a quarter because we don't need a full sandwich right now. I would, I'll freaking puke if I eat too much of this stuff, man. It's pretty big, though. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, man. How's that? That's freaking good, man. Oh, That's man. sauce in there, man. It's good sauce. Wow. I was worried about the bread being a little too thick. It's not. No. It's holding this messy piece of shit together. I, I told you to put use ciabatta. This is this yeah. was better. It was better better deal. I can barely bite this thing. It's so big. This is really good. Well, we did another one. I don't know if this is world's greatest or anything, but it's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I'd pay for this. <laughs> 